Hi, this video explains chords, how chords can be built on the notes of a scale, and how the chords are named after the scale degree names. And then we're going to talk about heart and soul and how the chords in heart and soul are mostly based on the primary chords. So first of all, you can take the scale of any key. <laughs> So that is the scale of C major, and you can build a chord on each of these notes. First note is on C, and it becomes a C chord. The second note is a D, and you can build a chord on that, or two, and that is a D minor chord. And on note three, we have chord three, which is built on an E, and that is an E minor chord. Then on note four, we have chord four, F major chord on note 5, a G major chord, chord 6 is built on note 6, um, and that is an A minor chord. Chord 7 is built on B, and that's the seventh note of the scale. And then we're right back to the top, we're back to a C chord built on the key note, which is C. And we call that chord 1 again, even though it's at the top, because it's the same as the chord 1 down here because they're, they're both based on the first note of the scale. You may have noticed that three of the chords are major. The C chord is major, the F chord is major, and the G chord is major. These three chords are the primary chords and they, regardless of the style of music, are the chords that are used the most in music. So in popular music or classical music, chords one, four, and five, the three major chords are the primary chords. The heart and soul uses all three of these chords plus the sixth chord. And remember, sixth chord is on the sixth note of the scale. One, two, three, four, five, six. And when you build a chord on that one, it's an A minor chord. So heart and soul starts with chord one. Then it goes to chord six. Then it goes to chord four. Then it goes to chord five chords are C, A minor, F, G. And so what I would recommend is that you play this over a bunch of times and say chord one, chord six, chord four, chord five, or C, A minor, F, G. And when you practice this a bunch of times, what you'll do is you will get familiar with how the primary chords one, four, and five sound in a chord progression and just how they sound in general and where to find them. You can also do this in other keys. There you go.